Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Let's uh, kick things off with, well, I guess with checking out which jobs we're gonna do. Um, okay, I'm gonna do this one again. And then let's see, what do we have here? That one. Yeah, let's have our, let's have Ella, LE, sorry, to that one. And then I'm gonna have Olivia do this one. And we're gonna take off and we're gonna clean up garbage around this castle again. Um, actually, somebody said in the comments that it looked like it was inspired by Windsor Castle. I don't know if that's <clears throat> that's true or not. Is, are we doing, are we literally doing the same, <laughs> get it litter and we're cleaning up litter? Are we literally doing the same job that we did? I think we literally, I think we figure to, no. No, I think we actually are. I think literally, which would be correct in this. Looks like a paper, looks like another paper. Are they all going to be in the exact same spots? I was hoping to get a mowing mission here, but I don't know. Maybe we have to prove our worth by doing... By doing, um, you know, litter pickup. Whoa. Okay, four more. Three. Two more. It is not a two more. One more. Oh, I thought that was a dog turd. All right. Oh, wait, wait. I need to look around maybe for some valuables. What? Could you guys hear that bird? That was really weird. Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing anything on the path. And I'm, you can't pay me enough to walk all the way around and look for stuff on park benches again. So we're going to forgo that. Watch, watch me see it on these replays. Or not. Nah. All right, let's head back. Let's see what new jobs we pick up. So we got a nice chunk of change there. I want to see this. This is the mower I was actually thinking about buying. Though this might be... Oh, man. I am so tempted to buy the, this one. You guys have no idea. No, <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if that was the right choice. <gasps> lower brand lower bandstand garden. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to have my employees do these garbage pickup missions. And I'm going to do the wildflower. And I'm going to do it with our new mower. And we're going to see. We're going to see how it does. Oh no. 
Oh no, this is over on this side. Okay, cool. Okay, so four objects collected. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this. I thought I saw another piece around here somewhere. I thought it was a stick. Ooh, we got a we got like a non spiral turd this time. <laughs> like usually they're in like, you know, the little uh, Dairy Queen swirl. Not this time. I mean, not that you would mistake it for Dairy Queen. I don't know, some of you might. Uh, okay, let's check along here. Should kind of look up the hill here. Just to, oh my gosh! I'm not seeing anything pop out of the uh, the terrain there. Forgot to check this. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure we just have to do this side. Well, let's kind of run around again. We'll see if anything pops out. Oh, there it is. It was a stick. Okay. Who knew? Oh, man. Look how big this thing is. That's not what she... Wait. All right. Oh, this thing is a monster. Okay. So five and a half. Oh. So five and a half to six and a half centimeters. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's like an articulated. That's kind of key. Let's see what the... Uh... Oh, this feels so weird. feels so weird, you guys. And I'm like full trigger down right now. And we're only going six and a half miles an hour. So definitely ain't a speed demon. Oh gosh. The only the only real problem with this is the visibility. Ooh, it's even got what, Did that actually have like ba a backup siren or whatever? Oh, go oh gosh. Did I take out one of those flowers just now? I think I did. I don't know.
I would I would actually like to try the um Oh, what is it? The um the orchard with this tractor. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's try to go first person again. Yeah, the one thing that I really just don't like about it is when we get into these turns, like right here, you can't really get a good judge on what the turn is like. All right, let's um, let's turn around. Let's see how see how far it kicks out the uh, the waste here. Uh. Yeah, we're probably going to have to walk around a lot. pick up our trimmings. I, I don't know. See, I wonder how far... Okay, so right about... So basically, almost the full width of that deck. So if we're going like this... Okay, so I was about right. See how we have those two... Oh, no. Oh, we are missing it. So see how there's like those two bolts on the front? Probably have to use those as a guide. Like a visual guide. And then just keep that right on, kind of going along the outside. See, like right here, it's really tough to see. I keep moving my thumb, my right thumbstick to change my view. I guess I'm going to have to do the uh, trim here, so we're going to go nice and slow. Oh gosh. See, it's like, re I can't even see in there right now. So do we get a, hold on. Okay, so it's not really a constant backup signal, but it's an occasional constant backup signal, I guess. Definitely an interesting mower though. And, and to be honest, I think this type of a mower would probably be a lot easier to operate with a steering wheel. Um, as well as being much easier to operate in real life than it is in a game environment like this. Uh-oh.
Ah. I want to go up this way. There we go. This thing is totally the Batmobile of lawnmowers, though, for sure. Sorry, that was like the old Michael Keaton Batman. Dun 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 dun. I'm going to have to try to remember to name this episode Batman's Lawnmower. Okay, I'm going to kind of cut out here a little ways because I don't want to... I don't want to get, you know, more clippings pushed into the uh, the shrubble area. See, like right here, we're just going to have to kind of go along here, I think, and try to get as much of this out as we can. Probably going to lose some blade um, condition because of, you know, going over the gravel here, but and I kind of feel like I'm going over this twice, which sucks. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just blowing all of the... Uh, the grass clippings inward. I'm going to try to take a sip of coffee here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I made a good cup of coffee today. Uh, today. And I don't think there's any other attachments for this one either. Oh, I'm not cutting the wrong grass. to go back in and, and, you know, once we get back and see what kind of what, oh gosh, what kind of attachments there are for this thing. Yeah, this just doesn't really strike me as like a precision mower by any stretch. So a little chunk right there, there we go. My only other complaint, or maybe suggestion, would be that 
on this particular tractor, your head should turn, you know, whenever you go around these corners and stuff. Like when I turn, You know, it should, you know, turn the, turn my head like that. Because <clears throat> I'm having to do it manually, which is a little bit harder than it seems. Let's go ahead and loop around, I guess, and do the trim here. Uh, you got in super close there. Same here. For as good as this mower could be, I'm probably going to have to say as far as like the driving experience it's by far my least favorite Like, I remember I had kind of the same feeling about articulated tractors and farming simulator until using them with a, like, a driving wheel. Once I used them with a driving wheel, it was like, oh, this is actually really good. But with a controller, the experience leaves a lot to be desired. And I can't even imagine how nightmarish it will be for those of you playing with the keyboard you know, to control your tractor. Um, yeah, this would, this would, I don't think, I don't think this would be a good experience at all with keyboard. Oh my gosh. I think that if it wasn't for the articulation, it would actually be a bit more fun. All right. Should just have this little chunk to do here. And then, oh yeah, we have some grass right there. And oh, 
there's a little bit right here. So next, I'm going to do this grass area off to the left. I'm going to kind of start it in a bit strange of a way, I think. Mainly because of how narrow it is. go up here again. I don't think this is working out the way I had intended it to. We might actually have to come back through and actually walk and pick up um, pick up all the cuttings. See, I don't want to get too far to the right though, because if I can keep those those grass clippings out of the you know the bushes and stuff, I think we'll be all right. All right, I'm going to take another sip of coffee here. Yeah, see, like right here, I don't think there's anything we can really do about that. What's the time limit on that? Oh, 32 minutes. Well, we're definitely going to beat that. Oh, let's just go up. Well, we're going to have to blow this. Ugh, yeah, this is just... Not ideal, okay. Ninety-nine point one. Oh no, oh no. Let's see, is it this one? No, this one. See, I can see like little bits of grass. I see one kind of... some right up in there which kind of surprised me there was this
Boy, they make that close. Oh yeah, and right up in here. How the heck am I supposed to get that? Now I do know that down here somewhere along here. Yeah, right in through here. We had a bit of grass. On this corner here. Come on. Okay, why is the thing not working now? Okay, there it goes. Okay, so like right here. I mean, I think we're just getting gypped on how much grass we're actually mowing. Okay, so what we're going to have to do... So I'm going to have to run around and just pick up anywhere where we have grass clippings in. Like that might be too close. Whenever we see grass clippings in these flower beds, we're going to have to... I think we're okay around here. Now up in here. Yeah, like right in here. We got a little bit of grass there to clip. I think of over here is pretty good. Yeah, see, like, like right there, we're not going to be able to get that, like, those really tight areas with a tractor this big. So I'm thinking, oh, wait, I'm thinking on, you know, future jobs for this, we're obviously going to need a much smaller tractor. whether it be the skag or, or something else. And I'm just we're just gonna have to finish as is. Cause I just really I really don't think Well see we can kinda come down here I guess.
So like down through there, and then what about over here? Yeah, I think this area over here is pretty good. Ah, can't stand this thing. All right, well let's finish this job up. This is probably like the first. Is this the first or the maybe the second job that we've had to complete? No, I think on that. I think the one, the other one, was on the opposite side of this park, and we had the same problem. And we're going to say yes. We're going to exit the contract. Still had that cleanup fee. The fines actually were insignificant other than that. Um, flowers destroyed, collisions, and then the penalties and fine. Yeah, cleanup fee. So overall, I can't say I'm disap you know that disappointed. Um, ugh. the only thing I'm disappointed in is this tractor. So, okay, so this one does have a mulch plate, though definitely ain't buying it. So, let's see, for this one, so we're going to need like another four grand. Um, actually, what I would really be interested in doing. And no, not that one. This one. This one would be a good one for the big mower. So let's um let's see here. Oh. Oh, stop hiccuping, Brad. Yeah, for like this one, and then I'm going to do this one with this monster. And we'll see if we can do any better. Um, seven objects, okay. I see two out there. I see... One there. I think there's one there. I see one way over there. Two, three. Okay, so and maybe three here. So there's one, two, three. And I see one. Two, three. Is that everything? No, we got one more. Ah, there it is. What was? What the heck was that? It looked like a hamburger or something. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should have bought the mulch plate for this thing now, but. Okay, five to six centimeters. Um, five centimeters. Uh oh, I always forget we have to lower these. I mean, I don't always forget, but I forget it that time. Yay, our first collision! <laughs> our second collision, maybe.
So I'm going to go around this twice, and then we're going to turn around and go around the opposite direction. Probably a couple more collisions <laughs> there. Whoops. But what is nice about this mower is I can just hold the trigger down. I don't even have to worry even remotely about going, you know, over, the t you know, over speeding or anything like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I just don't like, I don't like the fact that I can't see the deck when we're going into those corners blind like that. Oh, so it is possible to overload this guy. And I bet it's partially because we're blowing the uh, clippings in towards the center of the field. So not only are we cutting new grass, but we also are, you know, blowing in those, you know, those old clippings, which will not help things, I promise you. Um, we kind of have that hazy thing going on. No, uh, no frame rate issues this time. Though, seem I can't remember if we kind of had rain before or not. But yeah, we're going into the sun. So I don't know. Uh, I believe there was a patch. Uh, I don't. I don't know. There might have been a patch. There might not have been. For all I know. <laughs> You guys think I keep track of these things? Boy, are you wrong. Oh, oh. Okay, so let's start right over here. I probably should go a little bit slower and then we can kind of pick it up as we move around. Look at this, already 20%. I thought we were going to be close enough to have to do the trim around that, but I guess not. Okay. Now, I do think this is the widest cutting deck in the game, though. 
And that's kind of why I'm a little bit disappointed with it, with the steering of it, at least with controller. I, I will I will put that one, you know, caveat on there is that, you know, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the good feels from this one when using, you know, my my Xbox gamepad. With a with the driving wheel, I could see this being more pleasurable, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't I, I don't think I'm going to break out my driving wheel just for this game. I might for the new farming sim. Um, or or even um, the uh, the Wyoming DLC for uh, American Truck Simulator, which was just announced today. Um, I think Gamescom started today, so we have the um, the all new Farming Simulator 22 gameplay trailer, uh, which features the new French map. Um, and I think this weekend I'm going to try to do a video of my in-depth analysis and you know what my thoughts are. Um, so if you want to check that out, you know, be on the lookout uh, for that. Um, you might be interested in what I have to say, or maybe you won't at all. cut this up a little bit more just to give me more room to uh, to drive around the uh, that jumping what I, what are those things called the obstacle. I think these things. I think these um, things have specific names in horse riding, and I cannot think of what they are. Okay. Same deal here with the trim. They sure didn't make this easy. At least not with this behemoth. <laughs> oh, this thing is like... It's like the semi-truck of lawnmowers. I just want to get this done in between there so I don't have to go around and do that again. OK. 
ました。Just going to go kind of cut that out again. Must be some thick grass right there. So I don't know, I don't, I, I kind of don't know how I feel about this mower. Like, as far as like the cutting deck, like I really, I do like it. Um, it's just, it's not as maneuverable. And I don't know if I'm going to run into that issue, um, with the, um, uh, which tractor is it? I think it's the big expensive, like the really super expensive uh, Toro commercial tractor. Um, I don't know if we're going to run into that issue because that is, that's also a four-wheel drive. But being on how the four wheels are laid out, I'm thinking that it might kind of work like a zero turn a little bit. It might kind of have the more of a feel... I, yeah, I just, I'm not sure. I've never used one of those tractors in real life, and I'm solely basing my opinion on, or my supposition on what it looks like. In, in the way the wheels are located on, on that tractor. I just, I don't know. I'm looking forward to being able to afford one. But yeah, Gamescom uh, it started today and it runs through this weekend. So there should be like tons of gaming news. I know, uh, uh, police simulator patrol officers got an update today, which I downloaded. Um, I haven't even had a chance to take a look at it um, because I was up until like, you know, 5.30 or so this morning editing my, well, not editing, but uploading my video and then making sure that the farming simulator video, I know a lot of emails went out this morning that had the incorrect link for my farming sim video, so that was that was super awesome, but only because um, it got a copyright claim, so I had to 
go back in and change the music and so you know that's always fun I should just I should try to buy a subscription to epidemic sound that I then I wouldn't have that problem but it's like a hundred I don't know I, I, I think it's like a few hundred dollars a year or something like that and I can't really afford that Okay, I'm going to just go straight down. You guys are like, Brad, what in the world are you doing? I'm just trying to make a straight line because I don't want a bunch of curved lines when possible. Yeah, see how this doesn't really look very nice with all the, the grass clippings there? I mean, it could always be worse, but, you know... All the horses are going to come out and they're going to see all these grass clippings and they're going to be like, yum. I just want to go diet. Well, I don't know. This is where I was going diagonal before, I think. Uh oh. So just a few more minutes and we should be done with this field. We're at 20 minutes and 34 seconds. 49 minutes is the recommended time. So <clears throat> I guess if you're using the, the small night tractor, <laughs> that one's pretty small.
it's it, like in in the in the straight uh, the straightaways. This actually doesn't require nearly as much input because it like the steering is kind of so slow. I mean, I kind of am getting used to the the articulated steering now, but yeah, right off the bat, it is really really hard to wrap your head around and I this is probably one of the first tractors that I do not at all like to drive in first person which was which was kind of similar to my experience in farming simulator I had that same you know just it, it, when you're in a first person mode and you're you're kind of locked into one view and you can't move your head for like depth of field and things like that it's kind of a jarring experience okay let's go up here and turn around So now it's just kind of like, how do I want to cut the lines? Yeah, I definitely like the way this one steers or, you know, tends to maybe understeer in the straightaways. Because a lot of other mowers, it, you know, just kind of feels like the steering takes off and then you end up with a bunch of wobbly, you know, cut lines, which is not really what you want. done so this one will be kind of interesting to see once we do all the camera panos like it'll be kind of interesting to see the lines and everything but oh gosh so we got done in 25 minutes 25 and a half minutes something like that not too bad Crosley Riding School. Come on, give us like a an overhead view. Not really. I guess we're not going to get one. All right. Um. Well, again, I'm a little bit disappointed that we weren't able to. Well, we got 1,450. Just a few collisions there. Not a big deal. 522 there. 1,331. That puts us back over five grand. Um, do I want to keep this tractor? 
I guess I don't really have. We can't even trade it in for. Oh, I was like, we can't even trade it in for another one. Um, twenty six. So this one's worth twenty two five. How do we not have enough? I wonder what this does it go by the sale price? Okay, so twenty two. So a couple more jobs and we should be able to upgrade to what? What is this? What's this one? So this is 182 centimeters, 152, 127, 152. I'm not even sure if I'm going to bother with this one. I think we might go straight to this one, but I definitely kind of want this one right here because that one's going to essentially be the, the main competitor to the Skag. Now, this one has a recycler. This one, I, I'm definitely going to keep the Skag. Originally, I was like, no, nah, I think I'm going to sell it. I'm going to keep it because it's got the grass catcher on it. And then this one also does not have a grass catcher. So none of these big guys have grass, grass catchers from what I can tell. This one doesn't, well, this is a mulching mower. I want to buy one of these. I definitely 100% want to buy one of these. Because when I was doing the, um, the, the challenge episode, a couple episodes back, um, I actually really enjoyed it. At first, you know, it was kind of weird steering it, but I'm like, you know, I, I know that this, that that particular tractor is going to make sense for certain jobs. So, all right, so that's all good. Let's see what jobs we're going to have for the next episode. Definitely, we're going to do the lower bandstand garden at the Westwell Castle. Got the same job we just did. Um, and we've got, ooh, we've got a couple mowing jobs there at the castle. And I might have my, I think when I do, when I do this job, I'm going to have my two hirelings knock these two jobs out. So that'll be good. Um, let's check on, oh gosh. Okay, so we gotta get all the advertising out of the way there. Everything is up to date. All of our tractors are fixed. So that is gonna be it for this episode of Lawn Mowing Simulator. As always, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. And I love each and every one of you who does that for me. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're enjoying the series. Let me how let me know how things are going on in your life. I always love hearing from your uh from you guys and read every single comment, I promise. Um, last but not least, if you have not subscribed, smack that subscribe button for this and many more videos. This has been Lawn Mowing Simulator. I am Pratt M73. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.